Today we're gonna take a look at Audacious Fashion Studio. This is a brand new fashion and clothing software that was recently released and uses a very interesting method that doesn't rely on a 2D pattern sewing workflow like other clothing design software that you might find in the market. It actually uses a pure 3D workflow where you can adjust the cuts of the model in a 3D space without the need for all the 2D shenanigans. This makes it very friendly for 3D artists in my opinion. And today, we're gonna talk about it. This video is brought to you by Audacious Fashion Studio. So, we all know that creating clothing in 3D is very difficult. I'm gonna talk about myself here. Creating garments in Blender or any 3D package like Max or Maya or Cinema 4D is not really fun. But for example, in the case of Blender, it is not the fault of the software. It just wasn't built for that. Even though there are a lot of add-ons that can really speed up the workflow. But I think that Audacious Fashion Studio is a really great competitor for many reasons. First, you can work on garments in 3D. And as a 3D artist, that's amazing. I'm not a fashion designer, so I don't need to google sewing patterns and how to cut sleeves and tank tops on a 2D plane. Secondly, it is really optimized for any machine. The cloth simulation runs really smoothly. And lastly, and maybe this is just for me, but the software is really simple. No convoluted menus, buttons, sliders, and confusing layouts. Just simple, clean-cut import and export workflow. You can basically create a sweater in just a few seconds, which is fantastic. Now check this out. Open the software, hit create, make a cut here for the shirt, and you can change the color too. Click simulate and inflate it a bit, and bam, that's it. And if you want to create pants, that's also very easy to do. Select like the pants, hit simulate again, and bam, you can just create a shirt and pants in less than 20 seconds. But make no mistake, the functionality of the software is so much more sophisticated than that. And you can check some of the stuff they created using the software because it looks amazing. So let's start from the top. To start using Audacious, head to audaciousfashionstudio.com and create an account. You will be asked to activate your account by going to your email and setting up your password. This step is really important. And after logging into your account, you will be provided with the download link. After that, it is as simple as downloading the app and installing it on your PC. Once you launch the software, you should see something like this. Click start creating, and here you can pick one of the many model presets that come with the software. But you can also import a custom character, which is good. Just click on the user tab, hit import, and locate your model. Next, you will have to prepare your custom character by correcting its orientation and placing some reference points. If you use Mixamo before, the process is very similar. This will ensure getting the right proportions and body shape exactly. There is an option also that you can tick for non-human characters, so you can use Audacious even for animals. In this case, you will get the full animal coated with fabric and then you can go and edit it like any other fabric. Now you can click create and wait for the model to load. The interface is super simple and that's always a great thing to see. On the left, you have your meshes tab, which is like an outliner, where you can add duplicate meshes. You can change their order and of course delete them. You can also have a few sliders that control the appearance of the cloth like smoothness, metalness, and transparency. There is also a preset drop-down list that allows you to specify the type of fabric that you are trying to simulate like jeans, cotton, plastic, leather, and so on. You can also change the color by the way. Next to meshes, there is the border tab that keeps track of all the cuts and edges of your garments. For instance, on this vest, all these green and blue lines are considered borders. You can select the borders by holding control and clicking. This will allow you to do a lot of things. For example, apply different patterns like sewing stitches or maybe zippers. On the left side, you have the garment library, which holds different garment bases like shirts and hoodies 
which can be very useful as a starting point. You can also save your custom ideations in the user tab. At the top, you have your toolbar with different tabs. On the Helm tab, you can enable and disable some viewing preferences like Garment Library, Symmetry Plane, and Guidelines, as well as the ability to adjust system preferences. And now you can jump to the Knowledge Base, which is a great place to learn about Odysseus, and it provides extensive documentation about everything in the software. And this makes it one of the best resources to learn about Odysseus. The Creation tab is where you're gonna spend most of your time. Here you can see all the tools, scissors, and sewing kits. The tools are divided into three sections. Cutting and joining, operation, and sculpting. Cutting and joining, as the name suggests, include sewing, freehand cutting, sharing, and removing cuts. Operation is for symmetry and moving. Lastly is sculpting, where you will be able to run simulations like pinch, sculpt, smooth, flatten, and simulate fabric. The simulation actually runs really fast. And if you're coming from Blender, you will be surprised of how fast it is. First, I thought it would be clunky, but it is very satisfying and responsive. You can pinch and pull fabric during the simulation in real time, similar to the one found in software such as Marvelous Designer, which is fantastic. The application tab will include tools to apply texture prints and trims to the garments. And on the ambience tab, you can set the lighting, HDR, and background color. Odysseus, of course, is perfect for fashion designers. It is literally in the name. But it is also a great tool, I think, for game developers, VFX artists, and people who work in 3D in general. It is really light, and for a limited time only, it is completely free to download. So what are you waiting for? Follow the link down in the description to get your copy right now. And don't forget to leave a comment to share your experience and what you think about the software. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.